So I will start with, since I have a short time. So thank you very much for accepting this communication about a new research uh, project based on mobility and port cities in the late 19th and early uh, 20th centuries. My name is Raphael Kumai, and uh, since uh, 2016, I work in Art, Humanities and Social Science Interdisciplinary Research Federation in Normandy, especially in Digital Humanities, uh, which is a domain for a small part-time of my job, as I am a supporter, an engineer, and support for researcher projects and uh, partnerships. So uh, this presentation uh, aim at uh, describing a combined approach of a research question and the author authorships of a technical drawing. As a matter of fact, in first and secondary sources, assertions about who invented the transporter bridge remain uncertain, especially regarding the nationality of the historical discourse. During the year 2006, the Transporter Bridge in Portugalete, Vizcaya, uh, in Spain, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There, discourses about this rare and remarkable realization assigned the invention to Alberto de Palacio, a creative architect and town planner in the Vizcaya province. Here, in metropolitan France, and for example in Rouen, uh, where the first transporter bridge was built in uh, the year uh, 1897, uh, uh, sorry, um, or in Rochefort, where the last French transporter bridge was recently renovated last year. Its inventor is named Ferdinand Arnaudin, a civil engineer and entrepreneur who worked at Seguin's Family Enterprises before creating its own. Uh, the Seguin Enterprise is known worldwide for its metallic, metallic bridges construction. Okay, the methodology I will describe uses an event-based modeling process with CEDOC serum entities and properties on one side, keeping in mind the primary sources here, a series of photographs and the features, features they contain might be considered as a result of a classical capture process of a reality, a photography, on the other side, with reference here to the well-known Chambre Claire uh, from Roland Barthes or a little history of photography from Walter Benjamin. As uh, we may see, uh, in this slide, uh, you have a photograph. The Imagine Transporter Bridge, like the Tour Eiffel also, influenced uh, the history of photography. Here you see the new vision followed by the Bauhaus movement at the early uh, 20th century. So, uh, the scope of the research question I address here is the authorship of the technical drawing found in two original patents which are primary sources, one from Alberto de Palacio, the other signed by Ferdinand Arnaudin. I hope you can see uh, the sketch of the bridge. Um, at first sight, both drawings look very similar and use standard representation of civil engineering work. The boat is at the same place as well as the transporter platform. Scales seems exactly the same, etc. Looking at temporal entity, both application patents date uh, indicate 1887, the 5th November, with a time gap of a few hours, four hours actually. Uh, since no international um, no European law regulation uh, of patent was established at this time, these concomitant patent applications seem to follow a common intellectual property strategy. Nonetheless, only one name signs the same drawing of the patent application, one in Spain, one in France, with different authors. So the question is, who has drawn this technical drawing of these two original patents? Um, at first step, such digital documents, here digital photographs, are considered in the scientific context of social and technical history of photography. 
those I will show you the scheme it will be uh, easier and faster uh, I I propose um, to to use uh, these entities to define this document as a photograph so um, uh, each of these digital photographs are threefold uh, is a, a e, um, 36 visual item with E55 type technical drawing is a E89 uh, propositional, propositional object with a type patent application and uh, also is E24 um, physical human made thing that depicts a sketch transporter bridge and with another property that shows a visual item item of it. Attention might be necessary that um, a visual uh, item entity E36 scope note indicates that no idiosyncratic features are under consideration so that slight differences in drawing is not considered under this first step of modeling. So, what's the difference? I will ask you, so you, you must pay attention. So, um, one may notice here that we have um, possibility to uh, instance of, of uh, E37 mark and E34. Uh, um, okay, I just uh, um, mark and 37 inscription. Uh, that are specializations of a visual item uh, E36 entity. For example, the figure title, you see one uh, Puente Transportador uh, para Grandes Luches, I don't speak Spanish, uh, Escala Variable uh, from uh, Alberto de Palacio, and the other one, Point Transbordeur pour Grand Débouché, Échelle Variable, Elevation Générale, Château Neuf, uh, le 5 novembre 1887, uh, Ferdinand Arnaudin. And we may also see uh, inscriptions with forms used to authenticate um, uh, the origin of the medium, a stamp for uh, the um, uh, uh, Spanish uh, patent office, and uh, an original mention for the French one. So that's the first differences we may see in the spot of difference competition of the two drawings. The second attempt, uh, even though these instances contribute in asserting different authorship of the invention as a whole, one may notice that in the late US patent application, both authors are seated. Uh, the question under scope here, who is the author of the te technical drawing, does not lead to a satisfying answer. Moreover, when E37 inscription and E34 mark are not anymore under consideration, the superimposition of the drawing of these images shows a perfect match of drawing lines you see here, um, I hope, and at this scale and global view of the dig digital photograph. So you see here uh, the scheme and also the text uh, with um, a trans uh, E37 inscription uh, superimposed. I did it with uh, GIMP. So we don't still don't know who has uh, drawn this sketch. So, um, uh, I show here um, more details to see if we may find uh, drawing, drawing lines uh, of author. So we disregard um, E34 and E37. And here you see two features mooring for the, tran um, the transporter metallic structure, which needs resistance to sea winds and storm, for example. The mooring structure of the pylon on the left bank of the river and the mooring massif both uh, show similar drawing lines, as you can see. On the left is the Spanish one, on the right uh, you have the French one. Um, I do not consider here the process of uh, digitalization from uh, CDOX dig. Uh, uh, we, we look at it besides colors and contrast, obvious differences due 
to this digitalization process. So, do you see any difference between those sketches, the one which is colored, the one which is black and white? Anyone? An ID? There is a difference. <laughs> so, I will follow. Okay. Um, the third attempt to model a spot, uh, the different competition within E36 visual attempt of the technical drawing show here that we have a human made feature that is different in the digital document. The textures, uh, textures of geometrical spaces origin are uh, the guess. Not that easy to find. The superimposed image reveals crossed hatches, you see, uh, on the upper image of the mooring structure of pylons here on the right bank of the river, as well as on the left one. I, I, I show you the same images as previously. Uh, more features uh, show drawing lines of different hands, textures of the bank or uh, the river bed. But this might not be apprehended here because it might be too complex. So how do we model this? Um, I try to um, um, import with the third, uh, third attempt uh, at modeling um, an external approach to investigate the spot of difference based on such drawing lines features. features. This is the core of the presentation since it draws possible interdisciplinary dialogue between knowledge engineering and info communicational studies. Um, science de l'information de la communication in French. If the digital document is taken as a photographic capture of a real folio archive, disregarding at these steps instance of a Siloxerum dig, such as colors and definition of uh, the document, it might be apparent to six principles. Here, four of them are considered and exemplified in the following. Uh, then, Analogies between these principles and the Dolce ontology are sketched to help in answering the CDOC CRM modeling process. So, the first principle, RES, is defining a trace uh, relative to the data itself, an endurance, something that bears the trace, the trace uh, to define the trace exists. The second principle relates the underlying real and historical event that produces the trace. The, spect the spectrum, perdurant. the third and fourth principle are relative to qualities and facts, the studium of the digital document and the region of these qualities, the documentum, to assert the coherence of assumptions in, cred in uh, credible uh, interpretation interpretative pattern. I'm really sorry for my English. <laughs> so to say, and uh, give an example. Okay, so what uh, here you 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 can see um, the analogy uh, proposed in this attempt, um, the proposed dialogue with info communicational studies might contribute to discuss an attention intention of a trace in CDXR modeling, if nonetheless this might be identified as necessary, of course. At this stage in the study, first and humble results show the following. I, uh, yeah. um, okay, third attempt at modeling a spot, uh, the difference competition with info communicational approach leads to use physical qualities of the endurance, as to say, entities that are speciali specialization of E59 primitive value. Uh, we showed that the difference lies in hatchet features of mooring structures. Those following the scope note of E36 visual item, inclined hatches are threefold. And like previously, um, the digital photograph, it is a E36 visual item, and moreover, it uh, depicts E24 physical man-made thing. The core approach to relate inclined hatches is um, in instantiating E25 human made features as recommended in E36 scope note. And thus adding 
you see it in the middle, is a physical thing to read the physical qualities and region as seen, for example, in the right side of the scheme. You see physical thing and a, a E60 thing shows features of it. And then it has dimension. So, um, okay, we use, we may use, for example, as the angle of the hatches or uh, with a number E60, or we may use the orientation with a string, I mean, right or, or left orientated. Um, okay, I'm almost finished, Ariana. So, epilogue. Uh, we invented um, the transporter bridge. I tried here, and I hope I I was understood. Um, try to put into scope an interdisciplinary uh, dialogue. The same drawing done by two different authors uses combined modeling, sidoxerum approach, and a full com communicational definition of a trace to draw and succeed in a spot of different competition modeling. So traces of the drawing lines are here identified with a process definition using RES, spectrum, studium as principal, possible documentum also, analogous to part of Dolce upper ontology. Then for history, answering the research question and building an histori historical assertion reveal an empty node, the real reference drawing that authors possibly used to reproduce almost the same technical drawing to fill patent applications in the identified regions. Even though there is, uh, I don't know, eight, 800 kilometers between Bilbao and Orléans. Um, and the last one, perspectives. How was the transporter bridge brought to existence? Uh, I think we may follow this kind of uh, approach, maybe, maybe, um, uh, to see if uh, uh, the uh, E36 visual item is sufficient to model the process that built an historical assertion. For example, we may use other uh, principle from uh, info communicational studies, which is punctum and uh, scriptum. And uh, for further uh, investigation, also for this subject particularly, uh, I also have to um, model all the, the text associated with uh, patents. Okay, I'm finished. I really thank you for your attention. I'm very